Hey, good Monday morning, everyone. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to talk about the markets. But Jim, first, you just got back from Eagles training camp. My favorite day of the year is when I go down to training camp and be able to see the players. I love the Eagles so much. Mr. Lori, great franchise owner. Howie Roseman, Jake Rosenberg. Jake, these guys are behind the scenes. Of course, Coach Peterson, amazing. Coach Reich. I mean, these guys are just fantastic. Coach Schwartz, at Coach Grow, and I got to watch them play, and then I addressed the huddle of which I taught them UPI because all the CEOs of the world know you've got to under promise over deliver in Philadelphia which is such a tough town heavy burden don't over promise because if you don't make it they'll destroy you so I want the team which I love so much to just say listen we're going to do the best we can and then kill it good advice and we love all your pictures on Twitter Thank about you. it <laughs> well, I, I, I just well they're fabulous what can I say it's a great team great team could great be weekend good could be good year. Let's move on to news of the day topics. United Technologies potentially making a bid for Rockwell College. Look, it, it makes so much sense. Uh, I, I think they have to do it. I think that it's just a great way to be able to balance the, the uh, tension against Boeing. Because Boeing can play off everybody. But if you own the landing gear, if you own the, the uh, brains, if you own the inside, the seating, you can be a player that can say to Boeing, listen, we're not part of your partner's plan to be able to make you more money. You're going to make us more money. So it changes the uh, balance of power. So I hope Greg Hayes does it because also Otis has been a little soft. Uh, you never know about HVAC, but boy, aerospace is fantastic. Pratt Whitney's great. This would be a fantastic move. And it wouldn't. I love the turbine business. But that's a, here, you don't have to pay a lot now and we'll service it. I want money now. This BEA Rockwell Collins company would make them money now, and Jim, even have, at 140. You have a fantastic article in Real Money about this. Should people pay more attention to aerospace than tech? Yeah, I, I, it drives me crazy that uh, we just presume that all high growth is in tech. Mm. The best long-term growth story is in aerospace after the cloud. The cloud is a great long-term story, but there's a lot of competition. Aerospace, very little competition, and great long-term story. All right, moving on, Sprint and T-Mobile reportedly resume merger talks. I defer to David Faber. Sprint's talking to everyone, so everyone's talking to Sprint. Mm. But uh, I do not think, I, you know, the word is, is that Sprint's stock is overvalued because the balance sheet's from hell. I think T-Mobile would like to own Sprint. Remember, the regulators blocked that. Uh, I don't think anyone should be buying any of these on this takeover. Own them for fundamentals, which means I think Sprint's too high, T-Mobile's okay, mm. Charter, I, my, I, my child, actual alerts owns Comcast, that's for the one, though. Mm. But you talk to John Ledger all the time. Is this something yeah. he would want? Is, he's having so much oh, fun. Oh, he wouldn't mind running both companies. Mm. If, uh, if Claire A were to step aside, I think he'd love running both companies. Are also Apple reportedly going to release a cellular watch? Yes. I mean, I want to make calls on my watch. I don't want to just like send smiley buttons. I send smiley buttons all the time. Uh, I really want wireless charging because when I have nights where I barely go to sleep and I'm wearing my watch, it doesn't, it's not long enough to charge. And, and, and I need, because um, I don't take it off, and I just, all I hope is that, that Apple develops a wireless charging phone that I can make calls on because that would be a game changer. All right, so Apple has one customer right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and remember, uh, own Apple. Don't have to trade it in now. There you go. Okay, also Berkshire Hathaway, uh, profit declining for this most recent quarter. Yeah, but book value went up, and that's how he measures himself. Who am I to question how he measures himself? I'm with him. By the way, I continue to come back to his incredible last letter where he talked about hedge funds versus Vanguard and thinking that Vanguard's better. It, it, everyone should read that. If you haven't read it, it's really important. But also their retail segment did better this quarter. Well, for Berkshire? Yeah. Not, not a needle mover. Okay. Um, also, Bright House Financial went public. They're actually replacing... I like, I like Met. Yeah, AutoNation. I don't yeah. know. I, I like Met because I like the international breakdown. It's 60 domestic, 40 international, uh, group benefits. But, you know, look, neither of these really intrigue me. If I want insurance, I like Chubb. Hmm. And then secondarily, I like AIG on the restructure. All right. And then on Stop Trading, Jim, you talked about uh, Tyson Foods. Yeah, I mean, look, they bought this company, Hillshire. Everyone thought they overpaid. It turns out that what they wanted to do was diversify away from just being chicken and to have more some of the uh, shelf space for Jimmy Dean. It was brilliant. Beef was up 5.3%. 5, 5 nice move, Hillshire. Nice move, Tyson. 
Okay, and then on Mad Dash, you talked about NXP semiconductors and Action Alerts Plus holding. Yeah, um, we told people not to tender. We said, hold on to it. That the company is worth more when you look at Skyworks Solutions, when you look at Broadcom, when you look at Corvo, uh, and, and, and NVIDIA, and it just seems like that Qualcomm needs to get this so badly, but they're not going to get all the shares they need to close the deal. I think they'll have to pay up. Mm -hmm. Qualcomm is not saying that. All right, I'm sure you're going to have more on this for the AAP call this Wednesday. Yes, absolutely. I'm looking forward to that call. We'll talk about the hits and misses because the misses are more important than the hits when you're trying to figure out how to manage your portfolio. And perfect timing because Simorex Energy reports on Tuesday. I expect nothing. Um, I'm telling people, look, the oils are not working. Uh, the Permian's not working. Oil can't get through 50. Um, we're not telling people to buy these and we're not. I mean, one of the things that people have to recognize about the club, it's not, it's more like, I mean, we're in them, but we're not encouraging anyone to buy them. Uh, we have ones that we like, and you should look at those, including a new name that we did today. All right, and then we have Disney reporting ESPN will be in focus. I'm very concerned about Disney, um, but not because of necessarily Disney. I'm concerned because when I look at, even though it's a much better holding than Discover, or Scripps or Viacom. In the end, I just think the cable companies and millennials are conspiring against companies that produce content, unless they're producing content on Netflix. Huh. Great piece uh, by a guy named Buster Cohen, C-O-E-N, on the street about movie theaters and Netflix and blockbusters that must be read. Huh. A great piece indeed. Jim Kramer will leave it there. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right, for more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.